<laughs> happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday. And welcome to Change the Live, hosted by your truly Deontay Burton. We've got an awesome show planned for you guys tonight. First, give a big uh, uh, apology to say, hey, I mean, we started late. We had a little technical deal, difficult, difficulties, but the reason being, we got a live call in show. We also got another big surprise for you guys that I'm enlightening you on, but we got an awesome show planned tonight. We're talking about, you know, I titled it, I Need a Damn Break. What we're really going to talk about is how to recognize and avoid burnout. Because, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of times we're going through stuff in life. we you know, going through the motion, trying to start something, do something different. We, you know, and you start hitting little bumps in here. Things ain't going as fast as you want to be. You're not getting the traction you want. And next thing you know, you want to quit. You're like, damn, this shit, I don't want to deal with it no more. And far too often people get burned out and never go back to something that they probably could have just stepped away from from a little bit, did a couple things to make some changes here and there, and they could have stuck with it. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. You know, I need a damn break because we all need it sometime. But again, how to uh, recognize and avoid burnout. Um, again, this is Change the Live, hosted by your truly Deontay Burton. Tonight we stream live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, and we're going to celebrate. Right now, this is the first time we did the show live on TikTok. <laughs> So uh, we didn't have it because the Beamer broke down and I was stranded in Union City, waited down four hours for AAA, mm. didn't get a damn a tow truck to one o'clock that I had to pay down there $300 for. Wow. But we here in Living Color today, baby. That's right. You know, the devil ain't going to stop me now. <laughs> the devil just going to damn drink Blandon's with me, you know. But uh, before we get started, I want to say what's up to my awesome producer, DJ Lab. What's going on, brother? And what's happening? Also, my other producer, Sleek316. What's up, Reek? What's in the And, yeah, we got a special guest tonight. We got the other producer on the other, <laughs> other station, Miss Miss Light. What's going on? <laughs> I was getting jealous. Because I told her to everybody else show. So what the hell is she doing now? She can't come on mine. <laughs> I was coming, I, I was coming. That's some bullshit. <laughs> right. What's some bullshit? What's up, everybody? I see my sister a little bit tuned in, talking about she need a break. Okay. Oh, big shot. Happy belated birthday to my baby sister, Camille. You know, that was, uh, what, was the, what was the first? That was Tuesday. Mm-hmm. That was her birthday. What's up, little bitch? That was her birthday. <laughs> My first grandbaby. Oh, <laughs> wow. I didn't name her, but I'm happy she here. <laughs> hey, hey, and today, you know, it was on the video. They were calling and stuff. I said, Look at her, look at her. She all look pretty, looks look just like her damn granddaddy. Uh. And she started smiling and everything. Uh. <laughs> Tell my son, big shot to T and Tati, man. I want to say, man, congratulations, y'all. But yeah, I said on the video, I said, look, it look just like her damn granddaddy. Right. She just, all that shit looked just like the little Grinch came out. Yes, so. Yeah, I'm officially, officially granddaddy Poochie. Uh-huh. Gotta love that. All so, oh, y'all ladies see me in grown folks and chit chat. It's official. I'm a real granddaddy now. <laughs> 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 But yeah, man, now, nah, man, I, I'm super excited, man, super excited. Had this, uh, the past weekend, you know, we had the, me and the boys went to Daytona, had a blast down there and stuff. Mm. Baby, go on the resort, hang out, seen a lot of, you know, Florida still warm, man, seen a lot of mermaids walking on the beach, mm. you know, pulling them out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The mermaids were out and I had the fish catching pole in hand. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> but we had a blast, man. They had a blast. Much needed vacation, much needed break. But, um, you know, I'm just super excited about that. Also, guys, you know, just rehashing everything again. I am super excited. And I appreciate everybody that uh, followed us, that decided to follow us on, uh, oh, man, Rick just told me to pin my comment. Give me one second, Rick. <laughs> Give me one second. And Rick said pin the comment. Paste it. I can't get it on here. Give me. I don't know why it's not doing it, lab. I'm trying to, guys, I'm trying to pin, but we got a call in show. I'm about to give everybody the number. But it's not doing it. Uh, let me see. Let me put the number in. 
I was just talking about being a proud APS graduate. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, why are you doing that? I'm going to say, how you doing the royalty beautiful Lee events? She was saying, hey, kings and queens. Okay. Why are you doing okay. that? Cool. So, hey, yeah. <laughs> Give everybody uh, the call in number. The call in number for tonight's show is 678-740-9894. Again, it's 678-740-9894. Feel free to give a call in. You know, just don't say nothing uh, to incriminate me or you. <laughs> right. All serious now, please call in again. Well, I really want as much interaction as possible tonight's show because, again, I do think that a lot of people do uh, go through burn out a lot burn out a lot because again it, it's cool you know you know everybody knows you know i went through a divorce about a year ago and I, I i can be very honest with you without my family and friends and just hell sometimes uh the little oak tree in my backyard i you know i, I just had to talk to folks mm -hmm. you know me and that tree they, we had a whole lot of shed a lot of tears on though the tree was crying like me but <laughs> you know just it helps to to have people to talk to and do certain things to kind of uh, keep your head, you know, in the same place. Cause life is life's something else, uh -huh. and and shit. You know, if you if you really don't uh try to adjust and uh, uh, uh be able to deal with it, you know, it, it can really mess you up. So that's why I want to have, you know, tonight's show. We're talking about that and stuff. Cause I um, you know, just going, you know, I was thinking, well, what had me thinking about this? You know, I was looking at uh different videos in regards to uh, uh, you see some of the the youth coaches doing stuff, you know, dealing with uh, parents and kids. Mm -hmm. Everybody know I, was, I coached youth football for 20 years, 21 years. Okay. I coached youth football. That's a lot of crazy parents and <laughs> bipolar right. kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? To be dealing with over that time. But those last couple of years, man, and, and, and the reason why I got out of coaching was, you know, I got burned the hell out. Mm. Them last couple of years, man, that last year, particularly, I remember talking to a kid, and he called me bro. Mm. So, you know, natural acts, I want to slap the shit out of him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I don't really play with no children, you know? Right. Right. And um, just to sit here and deal with that, and daddy didn't check him, and then stuff after that over and over and over again. Because, you know, anybody know me, I, I got very thick skin. I don't, I don't get my feelings about, you know, people, how they feel, or what they want to say, and everything like that. But that was one particular time, man. I just. Couldn't let it slide. I couldn't let it slide, and then over and over again, you know, stuff that's gonna get fun to you no more. Mm -hmm. And I do think that uh, not was coming out of the divorce, but I do think probably if I would have uh, practiced some of the things I want to talk about this evening, I might still be coaching. Big <laughs> ass might. Just might, but not Big sure. Big ass might. Not you know, sure. but I don't know about that. <laughs> but but it happened to all of us because we we like I said, you know, life takes on a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And you just never know what pathway that, you know, you, you, you could be going on, especially when you do things that are different, mm -hmm. right? Right. Start a new job, start a new business, start a new relationship and everything like that. you like, hey, everything going cool and, you know, just, um, again, if it's not going the same, the path or to get into the traction that you want, you start thinking, you know, uh, uh, different ways. Like right. I got a question here. Uh... Do you think my boyfriend loves me? Well, if he don't, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he does. That's <laughs> what it is. M four R R three Y Y. I don't know if he loves you, but if he doesn't, Deontay Burden, Mr. Short Dollar loves you. <laughs> so don't worry about it. You are love. Right, 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 don't worry right. About that nigga. <laughs> <Don't you love? laughs> You know she talks about the west side. Right, I was yeah. gonna say, don't bring where, that west side out. Where about him? <laughs> Talking to Poochie. Yeah, you worry about him. <laughs> 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 but no, <laughs> I ain't worried about him. Hell. With all this love I'm giving you. Yeah, yeah, man. You tune in to my show, hell. I love the hell out of you. Oh, no, hey. And I love you even more if you buy one of those changing live t shirts. <laughs> live, on the, live on the YouTube channel. Right, right. But again, man, you, when, we, when we start thinking about that kind of stuff, man, you, you, you definitely wonder you know, uh, how uh, uh, how things are going to go. And, man, you know, me and Lab have had conversations, uh, you know, over the years, man, try to do this, try to do that, man. 
And uh, I know my retarded ass. I've started all kind of stuff, you know. He laughed at my time, but I remember I had that uh, studio downtown. You know, <laughs> my damn, favorite story. Didn't know a damn thing about money. You know, <laughs> like, you know, just going over that time, spending that money. Maybe if I had to just stop back, recalibrate it, boom. Uh -huh. Had the salon 17 years. Right. Just, and when I say I was burnt the hell out, burnt shit. Right. You know, just <laughs> with those things, you kind of look back at it. Now, because you're out of it, mm -hmm. maybe if I did this a little different, or maybe I'd have waited this way to do that. You know, again, because you don't have that stress and that pressure on you. Mm -hmm. What if, you know, what if, what if, and everything, you know. Now, still, I, 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 anybody knows me, I'm not the type of person to uh, dwell on things that didn't work out of change. I always just use them as learning situations, mm -hmm. things like that. But uh, I know everybody ain't privy. That's true. To, 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 be able to, to be able to step back and, and reevaluate everything with that. So, I do want to talk about that again. We're talking that uh, tonight, you know, I need a damn break, you know, how to recognize and avoid burnout, you know. And a lot of times, uh, what caused a lot of things, you know, we start, you know, what caused a lot of times is that, you know, when you start looking at it, recognize, you start looking at, you know, just frustration. Mm -hmm. Frustration. How, and you know, how many times have you been in a situation you just, you know, you go to work and you had a rough day at work? No, not a rough day. Let's say a, a rough week at work. Mm -hmm. Like, man, this shit getting to me. It right. Getting to me. All of a sudden, <laughs> Let's say day. You know. You know <laughs> Let's go day, back to day. Day, whatever, everything. <laughs> Appreciate everybody tuning in. Remember, guys, call in show 678-740-9894. 678-740-9894. But you having that rough times at work, mm -hmm. right? And I think it's a skill to turn that shit off when you clock out. So most of the time, what we do. We bring that shit home, home right. right? And everybody like, what the fuck is wrong with this? Wrong with you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, daddy. Hey, baby. Yeah, da, da. The hell wrong with that? Hey, who didn't clean this? Y'all ain't cook shit. Right. Ain't Y'all ain't know why the light on. <laughs> Damn, who? Why the hell? Who changed the channel? We just walking in. You wonder what the hell channel it was on? Right. We going out kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, and you just like constantly like that. You in bed. You rolling around. You can't sleep. Mm -hmm. You just mad as hell for no damn reason. And then you go through the same thing the next day, you know, you're getting beat down at work, or even just at work, you're not even getting beat down, you're just not happy, right? Mm -hmm. And no matter what it is, you're just like, man, I am just feeling, like, you feel trapped. Right. You know, and I damn sure went through that. I damn sure went through that. I'll be like, man, I'm about to kill these white folks. I'm about to kill them. And far too often, we get bad advice in regards to how to handle situations. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, you know, man, you know, you, you know, just just maybe you should talk, you know, talk to folks or say what's going on uh -huh. to people, tell them how you feel. Bush, no, no one cares. Don't know about, well, don't nobody really want to talk to nobody else about their personal problems, though. Like, you have to think about that human behavior, too. We don't really want to discuss what's going on with us with nobody else. Now, we'll listen to somebody else's problems, uh -huh. but we're, not, we're generally not going to tell them our problems. You know, that, that'd be one of the things right there. That's a good point, but what, what, what's the issue with that? The issue with that is, shit, everybody see your problem. Right. You walk around like a damn maniac, cussing and fussing. <laughs> well, we don't yeah. think they see. Yeah, sure, we man. think we act. It's like when you get drunk. You don't think you're drunk. You think you're walking straight. <laughs> you, think he, you think you're talking fine. You think you're walking straight, and you think you can drive without no problems. I don't know, Leo. I know I be <laughs> But, but but most people think that way, right? Mm -hmm. So when you having problems, you don't think it shows on the outside. Not but as bad as it is. Like, as bad as it, it is, is, right? You like, let me go put this shirt on around these clothes, go through the door and smile from ear to ear. But at the same time, the smile is cracking as you're walking in the building. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. most people don't know that the problems is showing. You know, they think it's just a regular day. Yeah, because you, you to, to that point, that's a good point, is that we don't, realize the, the degree of our change. You dig what I'm saying? Like in terms of like, uh, you know, what's wrong with Poochie? Poochie being more agitated. Mm -hmm. Man, Poochie used to come around and talk and he don't do this. You you kind of uh, distance yourself from family members and friends and stuff like that because you're trying to figure out some kind of coping mechanism to be able to deal with this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And again, while all that going on, <laughs> shit, I'm cool. You cool. I'm cool, you know, but everybody around you like, what's happening? Right. But your whole damn demeanor changes. Mm -hmm. Your whole demeanor. You know, you're doing things, you, you're running late. Things you, you, you know, you, you're the person that was always timely, and then you're running late, missing appointments, and all this other kind of stuff, and you just 
stuck. Stuck. Stuck with, 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 with you know, and it seems like it's kind of hopeless. We got royalty Lee events. Why we don't go to therapy to talk about our problems? Oh, uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. A lot of times people don't because I think a lot of times, to last point, we're saying, you know, if, you know, we don't necessarily go uh, to therapy to talk to somebody. Number one, we'll damn admit some shit wrong. Right. <laughs> That'd be one of the problems. You know what I'm saying? That'd be one that, of the problems. That's the thing about it. Because when you, when you go on through stuff, a lot of times you can pinpoint everything that everybody else is doing mm-hmm. wrong. Everything. But that man in the mirror, yeah, he just, <laughs> as soon as you look in, he jump out. Look right. in, he jump out. Right. And that's just how it is. And, uh, and, and, uh, and it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Lion Lady Love says that most problems just go straight to social media. And that's one of those things people post everything about their life on social media. Yeah, you think that's an issue too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is an issue because it's just like when you text somebody. What's the key thing? Like I can read a text from Lab, the, and, and, and Lab can send that uh, uh, the text to everybody at Misfits Radio, and everybody at Misfits Radio can pull a different kind of tone mm-hmm. off the same message. Mm-hmm. And what that's what you miss when you texting and stuff. You don't get to see. Uh, uh, reactions, temperament, and all that other kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, you you just like typing in caps and putting an exclamation point. Well, and people that's know just, caps ain't yeah. how you supposed to type. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who he texting like that? You know what I'm saying? That's the I first might, thing I say. I might be like, you know, okay. Here, <laughs> next person, WTF? Right. Who was wrong with you? Well, you know, I said, you know, and that's the kind of thing about it. So when you go to social media, you put it out there. You put it out there now. It now it's just like you had a court of public opinion. Mm-hmm. So when you see when you see videos on social media, crazy stuff. What is it? It's one thing to see the video, but what's the next thing everybody go to? The comments. I'm going straight like, to the comments. What the <laughs> hell? Because <laughs> everybody has an opinion. Mm. Everybody can tell you what to do with your life, but they can't tell you damn thing about their own. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and, and, and that's the thing, man. And when you start, and, and, and I just want to just say this to people is that. Once you start seeing slight changes, not slight changes, just, I want to say slight changes, but changes in the way you move. Mm. And I'm not talking about just lifestyle or whatever. We're talking about just the way you're doing certain things. You ain't normally been agitated. Mm-hmm. You normally don't be a drinkable. You start, you know, people start finding like different coping mechanisms. They, mm-hmm. they drinking, they smoking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just staying out, being around people they don't normally be around. We know everybody evolves and pick up different, you know, habits or things they like, you know, right. to go through life. But this sounds just like polo. Opposite. I, I remember when my grandfather passed when I was in the army, and it was just so rough on me. I think I shared that story. Mm-hmm. Uh, my boy got the DUI because we were just getting drunk in hell every day. Right. Anybody know me? I'm a social drinker. Like we round, I drink, we somewhere I drink, but I don't. I never drink every day. Okay. I never smoke every day. Like if I'm in a setting, I do it. Mm-hmm. But you know, I got the same bill in my in my in my game room. It probably been enough all damn year. Because I don't drink beer. Right. And even with the liquor, you know, I buy, you know, gallon bottles, you know what I'm saying? Right. It, it'll stay there. But if, you know, when you going through it every day, waking up doing that and there, no. Nah. And I seen that a lot with, uh, when I was in the military. And the guy, you know, I was talking to my roommate smoker. She's a guy, early in the morning, we come out of PT, they popping that bill open. Uh-huh. We done just ran two miles. God damn. You know? But people got different ways to handle stuff. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the key things. We start looking at you find different kind of ways you're coping with doing it, your lifestyle changes. You, you, again, you totally start going away from stuff. Mm-hmm. You know? And I, I remember when uh, uh, when I was looking at leaving, when I was looking at leaving my job, I was all over the place. I remember my, my cousin Nick, he was just at my crib like, you know, I was talking, man, I'm about to kill these, you know, because you might want to leave. Because I was just in a cycle of every day, the same damn thing, same mm-hmm. damn thing. And I just really, man, I couldn't damn take it. But my mind wasn't really thinking about leaving. I was just hoping everything get better. And just, work you know, itself just work yourself out mm-hmm. for some dumb ass reason. And, you know, again, I, and I hate to say that was just a dumb reason, but I just, Really couldn't think that it was gonna change, right. you know, you know, for, for, for wherever it was, and I, uh, uh, I kept just hoping instead of doing to mm. make something differently happen. Mm. Mm. You know, you about to say something like uh, that. 
yeah, Lion Lay Love says she don't drink and makes you look old. Uh, I just want to throw that in. But mm -hmm. we always expect something to happen. We always expect it to change eventually. Because for one, we're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Change is a stressful thing too. Change will make you want, want to have a break too. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. if you're if you already stressed, you already need a break, you already burning out, changing and that mindset is not gonna make it's gonna seem like a very, very difficult process. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Because now, oh, I don't like this job, but if I start another one, what happens if I don't like that one work? You know, you start playing the you know, weighing the averages. So that's stressful too. So even though you know you should leave because you're not happy there, you knew you should leave because you knew you wasn't happy there, you know, coming in the job made your flesh crawl, but at the same time changing the job, the security of the job frightening. is just as frightening. So we we don't know how to weigh those out. Yeah. You know, it's funny, like, I kind of remember, like, when I when I just coach football and the kids do something wrong, and you go say, hey, son, let me talk to you. Well, coach, I didn't do that. Coach, I didn't do that. And I was very adamant when I tell kids that until you admit you did right, you're not wrong. Coach messed up, coach going to say you messed up. Mm -hmm. But until you admit the mistake, we can't fix it. Mm -hmm. You got to admit the mistake. Right. Because as long as you keep saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, it's going to happen again. Now, once we don't, you know, that's just owning it. A lot of people got a problem with owning stuff. To your point, even just saying the, uh, uh, you know, uh, just knowing it's, a, it's a, by doing something differently, we, we know it could be a better outcome somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But the whole point of it is just like the process mm -hmm. of changing it, looking, maybe things don't go the way, whatever, that whole point of doing it, that's what people don't want to deal with. Uh -huh. So when we see things not right with us in our lives, we're just like, you know, maybe it's something that, you know, lab deal. Poochie ain't do that right, this, that, and that, but it be us. Mm -hmm. It be us. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time. Hey, bro, I was in the damn marriage. I like, this shit ain't right. <laughs> this shit ain't right. It ain't right. You know, you roll over, touch. Ah! You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I had the same issue. Hey, hey <laughs> boy. You quiet. Ain't nothing like rolling over, touch somebody, hit a line. Roar. <laughs> A roll over, a roll to somebody and it ain't there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's five o'clock in the morning. What the, hey, what was what was what was a uh, uh, Tom Hanks ball on a uh, uh, on this? What was the what was the Winston? Well, Wilson, 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 Wilson. Got you a damn Wilson in bed with you. <laughs> hey Wilson. <laughs> How are you? No, hey, you know, close out of bed. Yeah. Hey, lonely spot. <laughs> but the hell I did. <laughs> Ain't that like that marriage bunny. Right. <laughs> Shit. I'm lonely. I know she wasn't lonely. Can you, can you rekindle that, though? What? Is it a way to come up out of the marriage burnout? Obviously, some people do. But I don't know why, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know and, way to do it. I don't, and I was married for 25 years, too, man, like Pucha. I, I don't know no way, to, no way to come up out of it because my problem was, this may not have been Pucha's problem, but it was I was always thinking about the family unit. So, you know, me being the man of the house and being that person that I was, you know, society tells you you're supposed to be, my burnout came up because I'm always trying to provide and I'm always thinking as long as they happy, I should be happy. Exactly right. So you get what I'm saying? So that was the difference on that for me. Well, I just say this with myself, to be totally honest with you, and I think this is where a lot of situations, people don't want to admit that some things just ride their course. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We, it, it, it's, sometimes people can say, well, you know, hoochie change, the lab change, and, 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 and like it's a negative thing. Shit, we all want to evolve. Yeah, we what grow. Was what was important to you at 22, 32, 42, and 52 different. And, and should be. Yeah, and they what say it th is, the person that you with, they may not. Mm. And what's important to you, because I can value you, you and you can value My me. My person was digressing. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so as you as you change in life, man, you people ain't going to necessarily, you know, be receptive to that. Mm -hmm. Or you may not be receptive to what they doing. Mm -hmm. And... We can go if it's right or wrong, but you know yeah, how it is. Everybody's per uh, perception is different. It, exactly. So sometimes people just don't, you know, you know, it's it, it just people just things run their course. Mm -hmm. And until you, and until people, I think sometimes can be honest because I'm pretty sure we all seen the same video where married couple, married eighty some year. We just talk and we love and we respect <laughs> and we da da da. And one, hey, you'll be the man just so they just, no, hey, he done been stressed. 
Well, you know, he done, he got my five outside kids. He done beat her ass damn 20 years. And he just said, he done had them strokes and he can't do shit. <laughs> but rock they, him. What they say, communication yeah, is the key. Exactly. He got a damn, <laughs> hey, he just rocking in that damn chair. Yeah. Uh -huh. Man, boy, she shit. She done word his ass to a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> he just rocking like hell. Yeah, we just respect him. We thank the Lord and do that. Man, shit. No hell. No hell. I wasn't going to be rocking. Oh, shit. <laughs> hell no. Hell no. Not this deal. Hell no. no. Shit. I damn near was rocking. Hey. <laughs> Hey man, what is I, I will I will go to the parking lot of the Publix and sit a minute and think about it. I go, damn, I gotta go back to this house. <laughs> Bro, I Look. just I, I remember a, a, a moment. You know, I can talk about this stuff now. I pulled up in my crib, man. It's probably a year for my divorce. I pulled up and I sat in my driveway. I had nice car, nice cars, nice house, mm -hmm. and there's a month, a little change in the bank. And I did not want to get out of my damn car. Okay. Now, I'm going to give a disclaimer. My ex-wife probably felt the same damn way. <laughs> right. Let me get that disclaimer right, down. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? It was saying? a mutual yeah. understanding. Yeah, it was a mutual <laughs> understanding. But to your point earlier, it's the uh, process uh -huh. that you got to go through be so damn frightening. That you be kinda so like, many years. Yeah. So like so many years of, you know, like, when my divorce, when I got mine, I said, why she ain't tell me this when I was 27? And <laughs> you know, like when I was thirty, cause I felt like, okay, I could rebound from that. But damn, I'm in my forties now. You know what I'm saying? Now we want to talk about this. So it, you know, just don't, it's all those things. It's all those things that just pound, just add up on you. You know what I'm saying? Work, home, especially if you got and, and children. And and and, and we talk, and, and that's the stuff you've been dealing with. But that stuff outside. <laughs> Way out, cause you want to go home to a sanctuary, mm -hmm. you know, and it just don't even necessarily work like that, cause you got to start fixing stuff at home, mm -hmm. and you just like man, it's just like a never ending cycle, cycle. Of, of, of chaos. And let us let us give a disclaimer, ladies. We is giving this, we are giving these stories from male, our point of view, Mary. We don't have no female in here. Donna can, oh, late line let us say, hey Donna. Uh, hey. Donna may can do, but I don't know. She may not want to talk about. Being married because she probably wasn't that married. I don't know. <laughs> man, women, if they want to complain, they call they can call V one oh three in the morning. Son, shit. So we so I'm trying to see. Uh I need that's why I want to hear from y'all. You probably get married soon. Mm -hmm. What? Hold on. <laughs> don't talk to us about it. We better. <laughs> Hey, Lab ain't got to do nothing. Don't do it, bud. He ain't got that, bud. I already put it on the Lab, don't do it. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. He got that, bud. He looking Think for it. Think about it. it. I'm, I'm, the one, I'm the friend at the, at the wedding. Are you sure about this? <laughs> when they ask if anybody um, adds it, say they yeah, want to say I'm going to raise my hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm making I'm gonna make it seem like it's his decision. I'm saying, you know, she's from the west side, right? Hey. <laughs> Everybody win, poor fella. Yeah, okay, but you know what though? It, you know, but but I do think you know, anytime you have any kind of new occurrence, new job, new uh. relationship, marriage, and all this stuff, it is great. And I don't want to sit here and say it, but I do think that sometimes that again, when people have a situation that ran a course, mm -hmm. it's just tough to number one go. But when we talking about it now. Just say, like, this shit ain't working no damn more. It ain't working. This job ain't working. This business ain't working. You know, I am not a studio owner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I, I am not a studio owner, man. Because that was the thing. I, went, I tell you, I went to my studio, and I'm in a day. They got the weed everywhere. <laughs> it's the cloud. And them Negroes said, who are you? you. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> and my shit. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, I mean, they got there like, yeah, here's somebody. Kick back. Butt naked women. I got, <laughs> hey, T about 9 or 10 then. You know what I'm saying? Well, T 28, he about 9, 10 years right. old. They all in there butt naked. <laughs> everything. What the hell? Cause I'm like, hey, you, you, I'm on that. Hey, son, let's go downtown and show you my studio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm going down there. Like, hey. Right, you try so son, when you when yeah. you went going down there. Yeah, the women in that butt naked, <laughs> puffing their blunts. What the hell? But then they say, who are you? Yeah, who are you? <laughs> they 
all stand up, man, what the hell? <laughs> and my dog, my, my, my other bitch uh, brought it on it with him. He just a giving, he just letting everybody. He just let it go. He yeah, just, he just missed the industry. Right. right? Oh, I let them get a little time. I let them get a little time. Uh, you ain't yeah. making no money. But, but see, that's the thing about it, though. Like, that wasn't me. Mm. That wasn't me. And I was trying to hold on and be on that nerd shit, trying to market and advertise, but it wasn't me. That wasn't my world. Mm. And a lot of times, it's just hard because, why? When we feel like we done invested, invested in something, we done spent some time, money, emotions into something, mm -hmm. we feel like we can fix it. We feel like we can change it. When at the end of the day, sometimes shit ain't meant to be changed. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Yeah. I had a conversation with a close family member yesterday and everything. This ain't nobody fun, but it's just crazy ass offer. I got a call, Pooh! Want you, I got an investment for you. I got an investment, okay, cool. I'm cool if I make some money. Why don't you get my, my vehicle out of repo and, uh, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. and you can keep it. You know, just go to pay the money and keep it. And then, you know, once I get everything situated, I get it back from you. What the fuck out there? What the hell kind of deal that is? What, 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 I said, yeah, I said. <laughs> <laughs> what, what business is that? You know, nigganomics. You know how that is. <laughs> that nigganomics is something else, boy. That nigganomics, boy. You're right. Yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> boy, you got a PhD in nigganomics, boy. You, you be a millionaire, boy. I said you, boy. <laughs> That nigga number say yeah, yeah. Oh. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Got a, and, got a, got a and, business proposition. Hey, hey, it wasn't no stuttering at all in that piece. Yeah, I thought about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. From Got a investment for you. <laughs> you can get my out of, and then, you know, just can you keep it? Can I get on my feet and get it back? And so the whole point was, and I spun it, look, man, called and got, called and got repo. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they think what well, they're thinking about it, like, look, man, I got time with it. I done got repairs. I done put money into it. It's, I done put too much into it. Let it go. I'm like, look, it's already broke down. Mm -hmm. Man, stack your bread up. Just get you another vehicle. Right. Which you come because at the end of the day, you just got it fixed. Then broke down again. They might have did a blessing taking it from you. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Another day, proper free tote. You know what I'm saying? You just <laughs> look at it. But the emotional side of it. And I said, look, man, when I hear you talk, I hear too many emotional words. Mm -hmm. I'm vested. I don't put too much in and stuff like that. And when we start doing that, we start to, we talk about, again, avoiding burnout. Just looking at these kind of things, like we feel like because of the uh, a certain commitment or things that we've contributed to something, mm -hmm. we can't just let it go in a certain direction. Whereas sometimes you might just need to be like, that might be the blessing to help you get out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's tough to, uh, I don't think it's tough to, to, to be aware of that. It's just tough sometimes. I think people some, uh, look at the other side of it. I don't want Lab and look at me like I'm a failure. I don't want for you to think, you know, I want a good husband. I want a good father. I want a good businessman and stuff like that. Man, folk don't be giving a shit about that. They don't care. They don't give a shit about that. Man, uh, talk, man and that's the truth. Lion Lady Love, if you've been married for 20 years, that don't mean you meant to be. <laughs> no. People yeah. outgrow each other hey. just like they outgrow clothes. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I have I have no no uh no qualms. I you know uh, uh uh no no problems about marriage or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but but I I'm just saying that you know if marriage is like in other situation like sometimes things run their course. Right. And, and, and uh I had to go through what I went through to just come to mm -hmm. that realization. Because mm -hmm. you know sometimes you tell like look man sometimes it ain't. You did something wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just shit. You, 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 I got poochie. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell going on in her head. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. She just, you know what I mean? You know, it's just some things like uh, uh, they want to go a different way with their career, religion, and stuff like that. You be on like, man, you try to listen to that damn preacher. But yeah, hell yeah, they listen right. to him. And ain't a damn thing you can say to, to, to change that. You actually pushing them further away. Mm -hmm. and, and those things happen. And, and, and as much as we can sit here and say, like, no. Right. You know, like, no, you know, she done got her BBL and compliments my, my, and her TikTok page. I got my signal. Mine was, I feel like I missed out on something. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, what? Shit. We got married too young, had kids too soon. I feel like I missed out on something. Okay. <laughs> you try to figure it out. And, right. And like I say, sometimes it ain't nothing you did. It's just something they want to go, you know, in a different direction with, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you see, like, you know, uh, uh, and I'm all, I'm all about people feeling good about themselves, people being happy and stuff like that. 
but you know, just I mean, something had changed. You know, he done got him a promotion. She done got her degree. They done lost their weight and all this other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, like, they getting the confidence with them. And there's nothing wrong with it. But people change. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we can hope that people stay uh, on the same path with certain things. But that ain't, sometimes that really ain't that realistic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just how it is. Not, it's not how it goes. You know, we, we, we see all the time. You know, shit, people get that money. It, it's, it's, when we see the biggest attitude of change, uh, change in the world, Income tax time. Income tax time. <laughs> we, don't she, need, we don't need nobody and income tax time. people tell you what the hell they can do with that three, four thousand dollars. Right. Woo! I'm going to get this food truck, then we're going to start this record label, and then we're going to do that, then I'm going to get my tea fix and I'm all this. i going to give you a shit. business. Hey, man, how much you got? Um, two thousand dollars. Three thousand, three hundred. Oh, man. Give me a storefront for my little, for my t-shirt business. Woo! <laughs> Excitement is in the air. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and you sitting there like, hey, man, hey, boy, that's a rough time, boy. Your significant other get that refund. And you ain't got that. Boy, they on that plan and they cruise. Right. Uh, and what you got on it? <laughs> hey, bro. You can see them brothers up in the trailer park. Huh? Reef tackles go down. Yeah, man, you my girl. <laughs> we try to get this in there. Yeah. Get this going on, man. Yeah. And we see everybody just going through all kinds of stuff. But again, when you sit there and say that we, we're talking, and again, tonight, guys, we're talking about, oh, uh, I need a break. How to recognize and avoid burnout. Those kind of things happen. We got, hey, nobody ain't called in. We done broke up. Somebody need a damn call here. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Lab would do a lot to get it in. So call 678. I don't give a damn call. Just say, hey, what's going on? 678-740-9894. Again, that's 678-740-9894. The number should be pinned on all the different platforms that we are streaming live on. But definitely give us a call. But, man, that's the thing about it. If you even want to call, just say, hey, you ain't got to contribute, you know, at anything, you know, to this. Because just call and say, hey, because we're we celebrating. Again, this is our first time streaming live on TikTok. Mm. Yeah. So right now, guys, we can stream live on every platform. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> My hand's shaking. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Talking to Deontay Burton. What's going on? Who am I speaking with? Hey. It's your mama. Oh, oh hey, mama. Oh, hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's up, mama? What's going on now? Yeah, I hear you talking about all that shake your booty and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all that great information I said. That's all you pull, pull huh? from the conversation. That's all you pull from the conversation. Huh? What you say? I said all that great information. I said that's all you pull from. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> because, no, um, no. I, I was late coming in, okay. and when I came in up, that's all I. First thing I heard, I said, "Oh my God." <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Well, Mom, let me ask you a question. While I got you on the phone. So, have you ever yes, had sir. a moment in your life where you felt burned out about something? Huh? Have you ever had a moment in your life where you felt burned out about something? Your phone breaking up. What you say? I don't know what that is. Probably somebody calling. Oh. Probably somebody calling. Oh, Wait a minute. Uh, what I, what I was going to ask you, have you had... Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> what you say? No, what I was saying, have you had a moment in your life where you just felt burnt out? You're like, man, I'm tired of doing this. I need to make a change. Have you had a moment like that? Yes, I have. That's why I changed jobs. Okay. 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 So did, what, what, was it like scary? We're doing it, or you know, you know, you're like, okay, look, I'm just gonna do it. I can't take it, take it no day anymore. What, what, what was your thought process? Well, it's been, um, it's been some years ago. I just got kind of burnt out at that place I was at, uh -huh. and I, um, I left them, and I took a pay cut, and um, but I got to the point where I had a peace of mind. Gotcha. And I just, you know, instead of going from here to here and there and there, so I just have, like, you know, because I, really true, I took a big pay cut. Okay. You know, just have a, a peace of mind. You don't say it twice, so I think it really was big. <laughs> I'm listening to you, Mama. 
Huh? I'm listening. I'm just joking. I'm listening to you, babe. I'm listening to you. Yeah, but you know, but hey, you know, um, you know, because the work I do, I do home visit, and, and um, and that's something that I like to mm-hmm. do. I had both of my clients like over 14 years, and both of them just like a mama to me. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah. You feel- but when we say you did it for a peace of mind, did you get that peace of mind? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Because I, I, <laughs> cause, cause I was working at a place where it was like, you know, I don't mean to be prejudiced, but it was like just like a white uh, facility. And they didn't believe, you know, instead of them listening to what we had to say, they listened to what they said. And so... You know, so now I'm at a place where, you know, they listen to both sides instead of one side. It, it, it make life a whole lot easier when you oh, feel yeah. like, okay, you look, I ain't got to deal with this sort of stress and stuff like that. You feel mm-hmm. appreciated. Somebody can listen to you. You just, you know, again, you can wake up in the morning. You feel like, okay, cool. I'm in a good space. You know, it, life yeah. just, you can enjoy life. You can enjoy your money. You can enjoy everything. Yeah, and so when you're getting up to... Oh, dog, I, mm, I really had to go this place, you know. So now I get up and go where I go, you know. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I'm proud of your mama. Fine. I'm proud of your mama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. We proud of your mama. <laughs> go look, All right. What you about to say? Love you. And, 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 and you know I'm proud of you. You, you, you just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Love you too, mom. Appreciate it, baby. All right. Take care. Oh, you too. Love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hang it up. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got my mama call. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Out of everything you said. Yeah. So I get some old bank head tales on. <laughs> Man, you called the one show for that. Don't, don't call him for that. Get them tails from the hood, throw them to one, not me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he talking about your show Monday. Right. Yeah. Tuesday, he love your show. He love your show. I appreciate it. I be, I be locked in. I'm like, no, no. Oh, don't be telling on me. No. <laughs> but uh, but, but now, nah, man, and, and, and just like Mom said, a lot of times we go through that a lot. Just like you sit there and say, like, man, it just, in it, it life. Mm-hmm. And, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I and, and it was very, very. I was at, you know, my job here 15 years, man, and I had everything. I had the money in the bank. I was cool. The the other businesses were doing okay, but I was scared as hell. Mm. But I was so miserable. I was so miserable. And it just something happened one day. I was just like, man, damn this. I sent them little, little, and I keep that email that I sent them on my wall. In my home office, in my office in Riverdale, uh-huh. like, to my, hey, y'all, hey, effective today, uh, been a great fit. Oh, somebody else calling in. <laughs> What's going on? What's going to change your lives? Who am I speaking with? Um, this is Tamika from Atlanta. What's going I just on, wanted Tamika? to call and say you get so much good information. I was just watching and listening to your mama, and it's so good to just hear somebody support you. Okay, cool. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. You're a fantastic lady, and I, I appreciate you tuning in and, uh, and supporting the show as well. So let me ask you a question, Tamika. Have you had a situation where you were kind of like, you know, burn out, you had to do something drastic, change it, or you're going through it now? Have you had a situation like that, you know, in, in regards to dealing with burnout? Uh, yeah, I'm actually going through a burnout now with a situation. And, um, you know, you can only give so much of yourself before you start to realize that, you know, either it's me or them. And so I choose me before anybody else. And, um, I'm just at the point. I'm just tired. It's, it's just time for me to move forward. You can invest so much time, and sometimes you just gotta let that time go and don't even look at what you done invested if you want something better. Man, I, I understand. I understand. I had to check your voice for a minute to me. I want to make sure you were my ex-wife. <laughs> I'm here like, oh, oh. I'm here like this. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I ain't been here <laughs> never once. <laughs> well, it ain't you, Mr. Short. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what I done did, what I done done. But, right. but, but you know what, though, and, and, I, and I think that's everybody. And, and, and again, like I said, and I, I talk about this all the time, I think everybody going to have probably four or five 
game changing moments in their life. You know, when you got to do something different, it's scary. You're going to leave a job, leave a relationship, move, uh, start a business, do something. You're going to have about four or five of them in your life. And if you do it, it can put your life in a whole different stratosphere. You know, a whole different thing. If you don't, you just kind of, you know, may have did what the status quo of it. Exactly. And when we get to them, po them points in our life, we just got to sit there and look at it. If I don't do this, Am I gonna be okay with keeping it? Because sometimes they say like, you know, you, you, I don't, I feel like I'm too old to go back to school, do this, that, and that. But if you know you're gonna do the same shit in four years, what difference did it make? Exactly. You know, and, you know, right. if, you know. And so those kind of things gotta push you. And I ain't trying to advocate nobody leaving nobody, cause I don't need no gorilla knocking on my door. <laughs> hey, man, he told my girl. I ain't saying that, but I am saying that. When we in them positions where we got to make them changes and stuff like that, we know it's probably better to do something different. It's frightening. And you ain't never, and you're not the only person, you're not the first person, you're not the only person that go through that. But we always got to make them kind of tough decisions. Like I said, getting a relationship, professional, business, you know, whatever, health wise, whatever. Like, but it's those kind of opportunities come. And when they come, you got to be prepared to be able to go through the field. Because I always say your feel of doing it should be less your feel of, of not doing it should be greater than your feel of doing it because again we know what's going to happen if we stay no matter we want to admit it or not right because we just can't you know right. hoping shit don't change hope don't do shit hope don't do shit but just keep you know how you 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 know uh, they say put, they say hope breeds fear man hope breeds fear hope also got your mm -hmm. ties and all kind of all your half your check and mm -hmm. doing all kind of stuff like that it ain't no it ain't gonna happen god gives us right. the ability to make do action and make changes. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there hoping they ain't gonna change. It's just gonna be that hope. But when you start putting action to it, that's what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. And it's scary. Mm -hmm. It's scary. That's why I ain't gonna sit here and do that and stuff like that. That was scared of hell, man. Like I'm telling you, I've been up here two or three in the damn morning. She wrong. She wrong and all that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Try to take my and damn I'm, I'm kind of going through. Right, I'm kind of going through it with business, relationship. Right now, it's just all hitting me in one big walk, but I know, you know, I'll get through that. You know, I made investments, and I'm steady waiting along and being streamed along and told, well, it's going to come, well, it's been this long, and it ain't came, so now I'm ready to just get, pull out and go elsewhere Well, and stop worrying about what I invested there So, um, because I'm not seeing uh, any type of uh, progression in that business with that business partner so it's just a lot so I, i'm really thankful that i able to catch you with what you're giving today because I, I know the um the headline was about how to buy your first house but that's what got me because i'm like I, I need help with this you know and so um i'm we always kind of keeping tabs on everything you you put out there even when you say, tell about the grants and the different loans You've always been like a lot of uh, good help for resources to me. Gotcha. I appreciate it. So let me ask you a question. So what platform are you on? Uh, Mr. Short Dollars? Uh, 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 yep. Gotcha. That's what it is. And that's just a technical difficulty. I got two YouTube channels. So that's what that's why I came up. But I appreciate you tuning in. And, 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 and let me say this. A lot of times we have a situation where we say, okay, I'm not, I'm not afraid to do it. I, I tell anybody, I'm one captain that's not going to sink with the ship. So when I see that shit going right. left and it ain't gonna change or whatever, I'm not gonna go down with the dang boat. So when you see signs, and it, it's a difference between recognizing a sign and pivoting as opposed to quit. That's the thing about it. A lot of times we can see, be stuck in a situation, I ain't gonna quit, I ain't gonna give up. You ain't giving up. You just damn doing the next smart move. Cause when the ship sank, ain't nobody sitting there feeling bad about the people that died in the Titanic. Everybody happy for right. the folks that got on the damn boat and got the hell on. So I'm just saying to you that right. it's just yeah. that you know what I'm saying. So don't be so quick with that and everything. But I I I, I really appreciate um, uh, you tuning in. But here's the deal: make sure you go to my other YouTube channel because that's why I'm streaming on all my platforms right now. Change the lives. So make sure you check out that. We got both YouTube channels. I got over 400 videos on both channels. Okay. So if you all check, follow me, I need to say that if you are on Mr. Short Dollar. Make sure you check out Change the Lives, hosted by uh, Deontay Burger. You see the little blue man uh, logo uh, for that. But I, I appreciate that uh, you tuning in. But I, and I'm glad to hear that you know I was able to say something to help you out. But good luck with everything. You know, again, I got all my contact info uh, in the description section of the video. So you can always call the office if you need to hear anything like that. Okay. 
Okay, I surely appreciate it. God bless you. Have a good night. Likewise. Take care now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, we'll be on we'll be on cable soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh while you while that was going on, uh Lion Lady Love says she retired from UPS after thirty one years because they kept putting that pushing that danger button. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seriously. That's, that's a real thing. A danger button. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a danger button. They get on that one nerve and right. they oh, oh, oh. <laughs> go to hopping on it. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for some danger to come up out of it. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. When we was in the army, I mean we used to go to the range. You got that one sergeant get on there by the nerve and we were sitting back, so you know these live rounds. Right. <laughs> Uh, accident is an accident. Right. So, shit. <laughs> leave this range in no damn body bag. Right. Shut the hell up. Leave, Shut the hell up. Leave me alone, man. That's right, the danger. So, That's the hey, danger button that they hey, were hey, pointing at. You got to be crazy as hell hollering somebody with a damn loaded rifle. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and know how to use it? Right. Shit. You know? There's a lot of folks win the war. I killed a they put on the toe tag friendly fire. All right. Friendly fire. Right. You know, at close range in the back of the head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. I'm Oh, uh, she said the post office. I'm sorry. USPS, United mm. States Postal Service. But I My bad. It. I can get it. I mean, we we, we hear y'all. people saying something about how the people from postal go postal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what. It's yeah. a real thing. I can uh, imagine. And, and a lot of times people in, there, in, 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 in a job like the post office where you got super security, also great wages and stuff like that. That shit hard to leave. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get it. I get it. And, and everything. You know, but again, sometimes you can be in a situation you're so damn long, you're retired and all that stuff. But hey, you messed the hell up because you've been stressed the hell out all these years. And now you got this high, that high, this low, mm-hmm. all this kind of stuff. So and stuff because you kept yourself in them situations. Mm-hmm. I ain't tripping out on nobody, but I'm just saying it is what it is. Right. You know, like I said, I could honestly say, I would make I, would, I, I, I had everything you could have wanted, and I did not want to get out my damn car. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure my ex-wife felt the same way. And that is a funky ass place to be when you have you know material wise mm-hmm. anything you want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's just like man, I don't even want to see this. One. But you still ain't happy. But no still- peace. <laughs> one thing about it, peace is priceless. And once you get a taste of it, you'll do whatever you got to do to keep it. Hey man, yeah, hey man, that, that what I'm saying. Hey, look, look, right now, I'm happy, I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I really found out, you know, that loud stuff real twenty to one, and it's just like okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, you hear when you're married, but right. when you see it, like oh right. lord, right. most eyes coming in here, huh? <laughs> Say twenty to one. What? Yeah, I got, I got a twenty to one chance. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. So I don't need to be. I don't need to be worried tonight. Hey, <laughs> hey. All I gotta do is say the right word. Yeah, <laughs> I can't strike out twenty one times. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. Ro- you know. Ro- uh, Roll beautiful. <laughs> say that um, she loves her peace. Yeah, and everybody should. Yeah. And, 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 and Miss Lai had a great point. And once you actually get it back and, and have it. Man, it's, it's priceless. Mm-hmm. Ain't no damn money compensation can put you in there. Right. You know, that's the that's the thing about it, man. Once you once you get it, like look, man, and like I say, you get in that right situation where it's the right job, the right business, the right person, and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, you ain't going back no BS. Mm-hmm. Ain't no pay raises and all that stuff. And I'm gonna tell you something fun, funny about that. I know when I left my job, I got three job offers, mm-hmm. and I'm talking about some funky money. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. CFO, director of finance, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Everything that three or four years prior, you like, I would be like, yeah, yeah yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Moonwalking. So yeah, man, together. shit, you know. <laughs> and I ain't want it. I ain't want it. And, I, and, 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 and like my mom would pay cut. Shit, I, I knew that that first year when I went uh, full self-employed. Mm-hmm. Shit, man. But I, I wouldn't make it no way the money I had left. Uh, uh, from doing it, but I was happy, man. Mm-hmm. I was happy, man. I was, I was just so. You wasn't stressed. You were working. Oh, it was all on you. If you make it, you make and, it. If you and, don't, you don't. Yeah, and you I ain't got to worry about working your back out, and then somebody come behind you and be like, "Well, <laughs> you know, and it's cool." Cause, you know, you didn't. Yeah, because I could work my back off for for me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying people need to lead it. I'm just speaking of just that situation. Mm-hmm. 
And it was cool, man. It was cool. So when you get, again, don't be afraid to leave situations that are causing you that kind of discomfort mm -hmm. because it's quote unquote comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because at the end of the day, people say it all the time, you know, you can get another job, you can do this, and you know, it might be hard to get another job, or you know, you get with this particular person, and you know, it, you know, grass ain't green and all that other kind of stuff, but you can't get you another damn you. Right. You can't get you another right. damn you. Right. Like I said, unless you want to be sitting sure that damn rocking chair. Hell no, hell no. So if you want to be sitting that rocking chair, with the pamphlets, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, you're right, you're right. I done seen them videos, just let it just talk it. And he, and he was, he mm. was a little wild, but we stayed together. And he can't say a damn word. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Slick, slick say, just like women who walk away from guys with all the money, tired of that headache. I don't know how that many of how many of walk away from that. Oh, it's a lot of them. say that. <laughs> <laughs> and we know we're in a, 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 a cougar explosion. Right. With all these, <laughs> you see all these cougars got their little uh, 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 young mascots right. running around here and stuff like that. But, you know. CJ yeah. says a bunch of them at his bank. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, no, no, no. But I'm serious. That is it, though, man. You just walk away from stuff like, I don't give a damn how much money you got. I don't give a damn what you're presenting and stuff like that. But just valuing you. Valuing you. And that's the thing about it, man. When you're in a situation where you know you done changed. And you don't change for for the worse because you trying to maintain a situation uh, or you're afraid of, of doing something different. It can kill your ass. Mm -hmm. It can kill your ass. You know what everybody gonna say? Poochie should have slowed down. I know Poochie. I knew you were stressing out and all that kind of stuff. But ain't nobody gonna uh, 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 say that to you a lot of time when you're going through it. Mm -hmm. so That's like, true. That's true. Like, like, so I'm glad I'm not a cougar. Okay. <laughs> she said she's glad. Somebody she heard that right. <laughs> Well, you know, for me, if, you know, next month I'll be 52. All and I'm right. pretty much, I'm pretty much to the point where I just won't accept what I would accept, what I would accept 10, 15 years ago. I just won't accept it. Like, I'll live in my car before I accept some BS. It's just not going to happen no more. Now, when I was married, I accepted a lot of it. I let it pile on because I was married and whatever. But as I grew older and I'm 52 and I'm counting my summers that's left, I'm like, I ain't got time for that. Like, I, like literally, I am not accepting anything that I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying, gives me peace. Let's yeah. just put it that way. But it's, it, 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 you know, but, you know, it's like you got to step away from and do the frightening thing to actually recognize, like, damn, you know. That one, my old client, she called, she called, she asked, well, hey, how Crump's doing this, that, now? Ain't cool and stuff? She said, she was just, and I knew she'd been from a good place. She right. said, well, I just want to let you know, I know the grass ain't greener. So well, no, Miss such and such, this shit evergreen over here. It's, it's emerald. <laughs> no, I said, when I'm wearing it, I said it is. Man, crazy. The hell it ain't. It wasn't green. That's why I would have got saw and oh, put that new yeah. fresh grass. Shit. <laughs> shit, the the hell it ain't green. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what fertilizer is for. Hey, <laughs> what my man? Well, you know, uh, uh, what that color purple? Mister was all, uh, Mister was a damn mess to let the house go down and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. Every story don't end like that. <laughs> right. Every story, every person ended up being a Mister. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And all that kind of stuff. Every story you know? not going in like sometimes that. Sometimes the fingers be like that at you, but sometimes it go like this. This Deuce. is Deuce. shit. Deuce. Yeah. He put them damn rules on me, better bend them damn fingers up. Kick rocks. Yeah. The corner. Get the hell on. <laughs> shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything you done to me gonna come back. <laughs> All right, shit, bye, bye. I'll take it when it goes. Hurry up and leave so I can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mister, turn the master. Right. You know that? Uh, 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 uh. But, but in all seriousness, though, like I said again, I, I understand exactly. Um, a lot of people go through this mm -hmm. and everything, but that's why I really wanted to talk about it because you know, and also um, be transparent and share some of the stuff I done went through. Uh, with that, so I, I do hope that you know if you can, guys, if you're going through it, some things help you out. Try to find you a good support team. Find somebody you can talk to, you can kick it with, to to do it. And I understand that uh, uh, it, it's challenging to do that because not only you don't want everybody to know your stuff, you also don't if you share with that one person. You want to make sure that one person and the damn daily news and tell all your shit and spread it. I get that whole part, but try to do that. Try to find things to to help yourself personally if you got to go get therapy. Develop some kind of confidence and resilience in yourself with doing it. 
and, and, and keep in mind, I understand realistically, if you've been on a certain journey or track for X amount of years, shit ain't gonna get changed and fixed overnight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna get changed and fixed overnight. And I would never push that to anybody. But again, if you can put yourself in a position where, again, you know, like, look, let me just take some steps here, do this and build that, you probably be real proud of yourself. Very, very proud of yourself once you get to the other side, knowing that little, you know. What it took you to get you, there. What I took to get there and I survived that. Mm -hmm. Ain't too much. Like I said, you know, again, I, I ain't never had no major health issues and stuff like that and stuff, you know, you can't control, but there's things you can control. You know, I say it all the time, control your controllable. Mm -hmm. Those things that you, uh, uh, that you change your own, you feel like I, it ain't shit I can do. Right. Because you, when you go to the abyss and come out of it, Man, man. Like, man, the damn thing I can't damn. You can swim deep all the time, then. Ain't yeah. nothing, ain't nothing I can't do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Royalty Beautiful Lee event says that um, write stuff down. She writes stuff down. You know, I journal too. Journal is very good. You'd be surprised how when you journal something, it, it just it, it takes it off your mind because you'd be mad, and then you start writing it down, and you look at it, and you be like, eh. It ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Then you move on. So journaling helps. Uh, Slick says you make a friend that will tell you the truth no matter what, even if it hurts. And then uh, Lion Lady Love says don't share everything with everybody. Yeah. 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 Another thing, be selfish. Be self with yourself. Mm -hmm. Put yourself first. Take care. You know, you, you'll you take your responsibility and your obligations with people, your children mm -hmm. and stuff like that, your job and stuff. But be selfish with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got to go walk around, do a little exercise and stuff like that, do that as well. You know, when I, um, you know, sometimes like on Facebook and um, uh, you get the, the memories or come up. Mm -hmm. And I see them pictures like from a year or two ago. Right. I said, boy, you wouldn't imagine the shit I was going through. At that time. At that time. Right. But I can see some of the pictures how my uh, uh, eyes was. And I was effed up. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, and, and you could just be like, damn, boy, you were going through it then. You were going through it. Mm -hmm. The world didn't know, but you know. But then again, when you be at a place, you can say like, damn, boy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then you sit there and say that, you know, all the things that you went through, you know, you you, you just you just proud of yourself. You know, again, I think like, you know, the um, if you got to take your little break of time out moment. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, when that danger button, so you don't have, you know, that danger button there, let me walk outside for a second yeah. before I snap on these damn folks. <laughs> Let me yeah. do this. I used to, the job I worked prior to the one I work at currently, I, I used to have to go down to my car for lunch because I just had to have that hour, like, to myself. I I just couldn't, like, I, I really couldn't stand being there. But the Lord blessed me for them to terminate me during COVID. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you get... You know, you ain't always gonna be able to walk away from it. Sometimes you get forced out. We feel like, damn, it's scary, mm -hmm. but that might be your chance. Yeah, be your chance. I, you know? I think that every job, I, I can I, luckily I can say for me, that was the really the only job that I had that was really stressful. That was like, yeah, I don't need to be here. But like I said, I got blessed. Got got let go right at the beginning of COVID. Mm. <laughs> so I was good. It happened to all of us. Just I'm just from mumbles, man. Right. But listen, guys. We can get ready to wrap everything up, man. We had an awesome show. I appreciate everybody tuned in. Again, I want to give a shout out uh, to everybody that uh, has followed us, and, and, and especially on the uh, TikTok platform, for us to get those thousand men. And uh, uh, let me tell you, I earned y'all because <laughs> uh, I, 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 was, I was campaigning. I was campaigning. Now I promise you guys, I ain't gonna let you down. And plus, even everybody follow me on my other platform, Mr. Short Dollar. Guys, we almost there. Remember, Project 25,000. 24.9. Yeah, 24.9. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We almost at 25,000 subscribers. So yeah. go to Mr. Sh my other uh, YouTube channel, Mr. Short Dollar, where we talk about personal finance, investing, uh, 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 business, and entrepreneurship. Please go there and subscribe to the channel. Got, again, we got over 400 videos on that YouTube channel. We got a grant playlist with over 150 grant opportunities. We cover business management, business uh, operations, business finance. Check Mr. Short Dollar uh, out as well. And uh, again, right at uh, 24.9, try to hit that 25,000 subscribers. I appreciate all the love and support you guys give me. Feel free to reach out. You know, again, I got all the contact info uh, on all the platforms in regards if you want to reach out to a lady. You know, I got a number to the office and everything. And regardless, what, what, what platform? Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. 
you not know how to reach out, uh, get in contact with me. But again, if you're going through these moments, you stress the hell out, you feel like you ain't got no answer or whatever like that, find somebody to talk to. Mm. Find somebody to talk to. Because I can tell you right now, uh, I never ever felt like, you know, hurting myself. But I did kind of think about, you know, doing some other things for people. <laughs> you know, so we're going to leave that that's alone. That's story. Yeah, that's a you know, <laughs> I deleted those, that Google history. <laughs> <laughs> But again, we don't want to do it because to that point where we say you a lot of times when you hear when you hear the stories like guy came in a job and did this and they did this at their home, you be like, and you you'll hear the neighbors and family members, man, they they was cool, they were this, they were that. And a lot of times it be something that happened where they actually just damn blank the f out. It ain't always just this damn nut tearing up stuff at home. It could be just any of us. We see it in road rage incidents. Yeah, a librarian kills four at red red light. So yeah, going on. Right. But folks be going through shit, mm -hmm. and they don't have that outlet to get stuff out of, and it mess you up. You know what I'm saying? So again, find that person. And if you can't find that person, find that tree, find that basketball, and get that shit out of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Uh, again, you know, check out the videos. We're gonna have a lot of stuff coming out this month and everything like that. So stay tuned and be, and, and be in touch with all the information we got coming out. Take care. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.